Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, May 14th. I'm James Spann. Wet is the word. Later today and tonight, maybe some strong storms, and then we turn much cooler. Let's go in there and check things out early this morning. This is the water vapor satellite imagery. Big old long wave upper trough over the nation's heartland, and that will be aiding in the development of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and tonight. And back behind that thing, it's cold. Temperatures below freezing over much of Colorado, some of the adjacent states. And we're going to turn much cooler tomorrow. And we should be in the 40s in here by Friday and Saturday morning. Not many mornings like that left before the long, hot summer gets here. Look at all the freeze warnings in effect from the Texas Panhandle and New Mexico north to the, to the uh, Canadian border. Closer to home, down to the south, we have flash flood watches in effect for Parts of South Alabama, that includes Mobile and Dothan, Evergreen, Greenville, Andalusia, the Florida Panhandle, Pensacola, Panama City, and Southwest Georgia, places like Bainbridge under a flash flood watch as they could see enough rain to maybe create some flooding issues down there. In terms of severe weather, we have the standard slight risk of severe weather for a pretty good chunk of north and central Alabama, and that extends north to Pittsburgh and uh, Buffalo. And we'll take a look at the parameters, but I don't think anybody's impressed with severe weather potential here today. The tornado threat is higher well to the north of here. I think if we have any tornado problems, it'd be in places like uh, Cincinnati and Columbus and Pittsburgh. That's where the winds in the low levels will be backed and there'll be sufficient uh, shear for that up there. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is through Monday morning of next week. Rain amounts across our state of one to two inches possible and Almost all of that for us will come over the next 24 hours. Take a look at modeling. This is the OZGFS. This is valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's your trough. Down below that, big old pool of moist air in place, and we should be wet by afternoon. This is the high-res NAM at 2 o'clock, showing big old batch of rain and storms over much of the state. And understand the morning should be mostly dry, but we turn pretty wet this afternoon and tonight. Severe weather parameters. This is the surface-based cape, and those numbers are certainly less than impressive. This is valid uh, today at 4 o'clock, and the uh, surface-based capes are well under 750 joules in most spots. And uh, considering this is mid-May, those values are pretty low. This is the low-level helicity, storm relative helicity between 0 and 1 kilometers. And again, the higher values are well to the north of here. Uh, over Ohio and places like that. And this is the wind field uh, at about 5,000 feet, the low-level jet. And again, here in our state, it's only about 15 to 20 knots. So those parameters are certainly less than impressive. Could there be a strong storm? Yes. But I just don't think we have a big severe weather issue. If strong storms do form uh, later today and tonight, hail and, and gusty winds will be the main issue. Tomorrow, the bulk of the rain is out of here. This is valid at uh, 1 o'clock off the GFS, and it's going to turn sharply cooler. The, the GFS is now printing a high of only 66 degrees. Wow, that's uh, you know we ought to be in the low uh, to mid-80s here. This is the high-res NAM early tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, and you can see still maybe some rain around Ashland and Roanoke and Wadawi, but the bulk of the rain is going to be over by the time you wake up tomorrow in most parts of the state. We think the sky becomes partly sunny by afternoon as that cool, dry air settles in here. And then Friday, the long-wave trough axis is a little east of the state, but that's a cool pattern for May. Uh, down below that, the 540 line is almost down into Tennessee. And it, it should be a day uh, with a partly sunny sky, kind of a mix of sun and clouds. Uh, could there be a sprinkle somewhere over North Alabama? Yes, but the odds are so low because the air is so dry. We're not going to mention that. And the high only in the low 70s on Friday. Saturday, as we kick off the weekend, evidence of some light rain over Tennessee and maybe the far northern part of Alabama, Huntsville, the Shoals, Scottsboro. But down this way, we're not going to mention anything 
Uh, Saturday, no significant chance of rain. Uh, Mid-70s. And the same thing on Sunday. Any shower should be over Tennessee. Our state should be dry. Uh, Sunday should feature a partly sunny sky with upper 70s. So a very comfortable weekend ahead. One of our last relatively cool weekends before summer. Monday of next week, we'll stay dry, bright sunshine, low 80s. Tuesday, we're dry back in the mid-80s. And Wednesday, same deal, sunny with mid-80s. Go out there and check the end of the forecast. This May 29th, that's starting to look like summer. The westerlies are pushing up toward the Canadian border. Got a large, expansive ridge over much of the nation and a little moisture trap below that. Some risk of scattered afternoon storms. And how many times are we going to say that? June, July, and August. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.